All right, guys, good morning. So I'm going to unveil the restart restoration, but check this guys out. If you guys follow me on Instagram, right? <clears throat> Made an offer on a snowblower to this lady months ago. She finally accepted it. And I told her that was my offer months ago. This is my new offer. She unveiled her card and said she's moving, so she had no choice but to take it. Came with this gas can full of gas. Okay, and some oil. Check this out. Now, the only thing I'm upset about this machine, well, you know what, let's just hear this thing run. Look, still even has the shear pin tumblers in it. This thing is brand new. Well, let's hear this thing run. Uh, choke. First call. This has the bigger 28cc engine and it has a snow throw chute. Very nice solid machine. Now, what I thought, I was going to do a build on this one, but there's no need to because I've kind of done this already. I thought this had an output for a stator, but there isn't. Oh well. So, uh, like I said, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would see this thing thicken through. The night I picked it up because it was stupid late, but you know, for a good deal, I'm gonna get it. All right, back to the snapper. All right, drum roll. Cue the music. Here we go, guys. Check out the stance. Absolutely gorgeous. Just, just remember, because remember, these tires are a little bit oversized. Check out that stance compared to, if you guys remember, the uh, Snow Tech and the one before that. You could just see these tires just a little bit small, but compared to the Snapper, but look, see? See how the tires are really fat? Look at the engine, how the engine just overhangs the frame. You can tell this is just a really beautiful, solid machine. Remember we converted the Royal Purple Synthetic Oil? Showed you how to adjust the bell. And just check out that side profile. The right. two-tone this machine. I didn't get a chance to put a coat of shine on it, but I will. Check out the Orga housing. Remember what it used to look like? Here's the money shot right here. Gorgeous. This thing's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Beautiful. Now remember, this is all rusty and crusty. This is all rusty and crusty. This was flat black. This used to be silver. Now I decided to paint it black. And the reason why I decided to paint it black is because, you know, look at the rest of the engine. This would stick out compared to this. So I kept it black because we're going to blend this all in. Golly. We do some good work around here. We got our light that we added. It's nice and bright. We're good to go. Let's fire this puppy up. Come on. This. Choke.
right guys that's gonna wrap up our snapper a24 build this is just a beautiful beautiful machine once again if you guys come across one of these buy 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 at a very nice price uh, the cool thing about snappers and brakes just in general regardless of the size of the engine most of these are a three-quarter crankshaft so god forbid something ever happens which we hope not right not to your machine not to one of mine a hemi predator 212 cc engine will bolt right up to this mamma jamma and that is perfect that's a killer size for a 24 inch machine all right guys if you guys found this video series helpful Smash the like button, smash that subscribe button, and guess what? I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pat Tay's Performance.